Today, let's talk about how to run with a gun. In this video, I will rank four modes of concealed carry for running from worst to best. Before we get started, make sure to check out the video that predates this one on overall running safety. It goes over why you should consider carrying pepper spray on a run, all the way to how to make your run safer when it comes to visibility, communication, and more. Lately, I've been running a bit more in preparation for the tactical games, so it got me thinking about how to conceal most efficiently and, of course, safely. The best way to find which running concealed platform works best for you is to test it out. You can do this with a completely inert gun like this blue gun here, or you can completely unload and of course show clear and check your own pistol to ultimately test it out the safest way. You can do things like sprints, squat jumps, and even burpees so that you have a high intensity form of exercise with your concealment method. I recommend looking at your setup before and after to compare the two. Starting off, we have concealment leggings with an inside pocket like these by Alexo Athletica, which are intended to house your firearm. Now, because you don't want to just have your firearm in this pocket and then be able to pull the trigger through the pants, they have come out with a solution, which is this little bifold uh, leather trigger guard, wherein you place your firearm and then you insert this down into the leggings and then you are unable to pull the trigger through the fabric. This is what that is supposed to look like when fully inserted. And while you have pretty good or not even good retention here, um, I found that when I was on my run, I had to adjust about every five seconds. Now, I don't know about you, but running is already hard enough. I should not have to think about adjusting my gear, and I definitely don't want to have to do that every five seconds and draw attention to that area. Furthermore, I only carry in holsters that are exactly molded to my pistol so that I have the most retention possible. Anytime I carry with anything that isn't made exactly for my pistol, I am sacrificing retention and ultimately safety. Now you might be wondering why not place your gun into a fully kydex holster that is made for your pistol and then insert it into these leggings. Well, I did try that. So this relies on these very good clips by Discrete Carry Concept Clips holding on in the inner pocket the entire holster and gun and while the clips never actually came undone or even let the holster out the holster itself did shift up and with the combination of the leggings and the holster shifting i also had to shift or adjust this about every five seconds again on my run so that is why this pairing in general concealment leggings with any form of holster are my least favorite form of concealment for running. On the other hand, and coming in third place, you have leggings like those made by Vacondi or even Alexo has their range leggings that have these built-in belt loops that you can take a belt intended for concealed carry, like this concealed carry belt by Hunter Constantine, loop it through the belt loops, and then have a holster with really good clips like those made by Discrete Carry Concepts, and that is a viable form of concealment. So here, the belt loops would secure the actual concealed carry belt, and then the holster is secured to the belt with the DCC clips here, so that when you pull your firearm up, it completely sits such a good holster it completely comes out of the holster and the holster does not move. This particular setup comes in spot number three because the other two I'm going to show you today have overall been more comfortable on my running journey, but like I've said, this is a great option, especially because you probably already have some of these materials at home. Pants with belt loops, a good concealed carry belt, a good holster, and of course, good clips. Moving on, my second favorite form of concealment for running is the modular belly band by Crossbreed. Now, this belly band is sold with the modular Velcro holster, and they are intended to be used together, but let's talk about why you might consider using a holster that is fully kydex when it comes to something like running. Now, when you draw a firearm from a holster, it slightly expands on both sides. When you have a hybrid holster, it doesn't expand on both sides equally. In fact, when you pull the firearm out, it is going to start slowly pulling on this leather backing of the hybrid holster, and eventually it is going to loosen that backing. Over time, the retention of this holster will be compromised as a result. For example, when I see my blue gun here, all I have to do is barely give it a shake and my blue gun falls out. Whereas I have never adjusted this Kydex holster by Standard Co. USA. I've had it for about 
four years now, and I cannot get this thing to come out no matter how hard I shake it. The only way to improve the retention from here is to heat the Kydex up and push on it in areas that can ultimately compromise the overall retention of the system. In fact, I do not recommend doing that. The way I choose to wear this belly band is to have my Kydex holster sitting on the inside of the belly band and then to have the other layers wrap around it. This option has been the most comfortable for me because I'm able to adjust it anywhere on my body. It's just taken me some time to learn that I far more appreciate the fully kydex holster and the discrete carry concept clips as opposed to the velcro holster that it came with in fact the first few times i ran with this with my modular belly band i felt a little stress and it's just not worth the risk go ahead and use the kydex holster that you already own update those clips and then you can strap it into something like the modular belly band by crossbreed and that leads me to the number one option today my ultimate favorite option for running concealment which is the filster enigma and the sport belt attachment when you buy your filster enigma you'll have the option to replace the standard belt with the sport belt here and then of course you have an internal complete internal uh, inside the waistband concealment method that does not require an attachment to the outside of the pants. Now, some people do add a discrete carry concept clip to the front of their faceplate so that they can further add retention to their pant system. The Enigma provides retention in the horizontal plane around your hips, or if you want to wear a little bit higher, that's another benefit of this, you can move it up or down, along with vertical retention so that when you pull your firearm from the holster, the holster does not come with you. The Enigma has been the mode of concealment I've seen the least amount of movement with during high intensity exercises and that is why it is my number one and favorite option today running is a challenge already so might as well test these things out before you go for your next run to find what works for you best all of the resources I've mentioned today are linked in the description be sure to test these all out by yourself safely so that you can find out which is best for you thank you for watching this video if you haven't be sure to subscribe I'm moving all of my long-form content here and in the meantime I'll see you in one of these videos